We brought in Jesse because it was mm -hmm. warm today, and you're here to confirm confirmed that that <laughs> it was warm. I had to get an expert in to let us make sure we were correct in saying it. It was warm today. I am the expert. Yeah, it is indeed warm. Uh, all right, there you go. The sun is See, out. All that studying, the degree. Yeah, it, the, this is what it was leading I to. Say, I say it. The crushing student debt was totally <laughs> worth it. Uh, the sun is shining too, Chris. Isn't that? I mean, seriously. <laughs> there you go. Did warm, you? warm and sunny. Those are trees, and that is grass. <laughs> Back to you. And that blue stuff at the top? Sky. Sky. Yeah, okay, I mean, it's you. How'd you know? That's wild. Uh, there you go. <laughs> That's, the expertise is really spilling out here. 88 degrees in Fort Worth. It's windy uh, with a gust of 24. High today was 92 degrees, which was two degrees shy of the record. Pretty impressive. The uh, record high was set back in 1939, and that high was 94. Low this morning, 51. So we climbed 41 degrees throughout the day. That's because of the winds, because of the low humidity, dew points are low, the low 40s, the south wind and the sun, of course, shining 88 degrees at the temperature at DFW right now. Ragweed is high. It's back into the high category. Elm is moderate today and fungus is moderate. And that's your pollen count for today. Weekend forecast, not a lot of changes over the next few days. In fact, um, if anything, a couple of degrees, not as warm as it was compared to today. 88 on Saturday, Sunday, 87. It's still windy. It will be windier too. Tomorrow and Sunday, wind gusts will be as high as 40 miles per hour throughout the weekend. That means an elevated fire danger will continue over the next couple of days. Humidity stays low. The warmth stays here. The drought clearly is not going anywhere. So please make sure you use extra caution uh, if you have to do any outdoor burning. Your county may actually be under a burn ban. You can check your county's website for the latest on that. Clear skies in North Texas. Clear skies across the beautiful state of Texas. Really not much happening here until... We get into early next week, so upper 80s and windy for the weekend. Our next storm system will roll through the Great Plains, bring a cold front with it, and it will bring a chance of showers and storms Monday and Tuesday and cooler temperatures too. And uh, it's not going to be drought busting rain, but at least it's something which we so need the rain and we'll get some again, mainly Monday afternoon and Monday night. Weekend is quiet. Here comes the cold front. This is in Amarillo around 7 p.m. Cooler air pulls in ahead of it. And we'll have a chance of showers and storms uh, as soon as Monday morning and afternoon. The better chance, though, second half of the day. There's the rain becoming more widespread in the afternoon and evening. Maybe a couple of gusty storms. I won't rule out maybe a 60 mile per hour wind gust, which just meets the severe criteria. So there could be a warning or two. It's not a big, uh, big severe weather event by any means, but there could be a couple of strong storms. Half an inch to an inch of rain expected in North Texas by the time all is said and done. Most of this rain will be out of here by early Tuesday morning. Tonight, 63, mostly clear skies, breezy with nice temps. Tomorrow, 88, dry, warm, and windy. The fire danger continues. There's your 10-day forecast. It gets much cooler for the beginning of the work week. 70s on Monday, upper 60s on Tuesday. Another weak front on Friday. Highs will just kind of stay in the lower 70s. And Halloween looks pretty good, too, with temperatures in the low 70s.